and welcome back to Whiz Kids Online. We will be jetting off on an amazing adventure. And we'll be travelling to some cool places. So stay tuned as we get, get on, on the go. go. Zoom! Final boarding call for flight 910. Now it's time for you to guess where we're travelling off to first. The clues will come up on your screen and when you think you know, shout out your answer. Down 
to us and gave his best Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this Let's go When you ask, he cares When you see, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door When you ask, he cares When you see, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door Tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how JSUS came down to us and gave his best. Out of doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need. So I remember this. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, He cares. When you seek, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. I'm Juan Duran, and I'm here to confirm where you've wandered off to. You are, in fact, in Brazil. You guessed it, or maybe you just got lucky and stumbled into a rainforest. Either way, you are here. Welcome, and bem-vinda, as they would say here in Portuguese. That's the official language of Brazil. Ah, Brazil. Can you smell it? The rain is in the air. Oh, you didn't bring your umbrella. Don't you worry, we've got you covered. Covered with fun facts, it is. Check it out. Did you know that 60% of the Amazon rainforest is here in Brazil? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. More than half. There are also around 2,500 airports here. Talk about a lot of rain delays. Um, yes, all flights have been delayed until further notice. <laughs> well, when folks aren't flying up in the rainy skies, they're probably on the ground running around shouting, Go! Soccer, or football as they call it here, is the most popular sport in Brazil. Their national team is top of the tops, one of the best in the world, having won the World Cup five times. That's right, five times. That's like one, two, three, four, five. That's like one per finger. That is a lot of wins. Whoa, sounds like the rain is back in the forecast. I hope those footballers have an indoor field. The rain shouldn't be surprising though. It rains so much here, I guess that's where they got the idea to call their forest a rainforest. It's funny. Brazil can get up to 80 inches of rain each year. 80 inches. That stacks as high as LeBron James. Oh. You're probably wondering why you're here in Brazil and what souvenir you should be looking for. Great question, and the answer will be found at coordinates 
23 degrees, 32, 1.6 south northwest south north. Uh, you know what? Come think of it, I may not be the best at coordinates, but no worries though, because they're already uploaded onto your GeoQ dashboard. Need more than just some numbers and letters? Fear not, you know me, I'm Juan, your best questie for life. So here are a few hints. What you're looking for sounds like the rainforest. You could make it yourself with a tree and some beans, and once you find it, you could join a band. Make sure you check back once you found the souvenir. You will need some paper or a paper plate and some pens on some colouring pencils. You can pause the video whilst you go get some. Hi Wiz Kids! Welcome to Storytime with Augusta! I'm going to tell you a story about one of the names of God. One of the names of God is Lord and that means he is all powerful and in control of every single thing, including each of us. We know God is in control because he made it all just by speaking it into existence. God made everything on his own and did it all from nothing. Right now, your paper plate or piece of paper looks completely empty. And that's kind of how the world looked like before God got to work. Just one big empty space. But God didn't want to leave it just empty like this. First God said, let there be light. And as soon as he did, light appeared. So God separated light from dark. Then God made the sky that we see. The blue, lovely sky. Go ahead and draw some clouds for the sky at the top of your plate or piece of paper. Next, God created the land and the oceans. Everyone, colour the bottom of your plate or piece of paper to look like the ocean. And don't forget to add a big island for some land. After that, God created all kinds of plants and animals. Go ahead and draw one tree on one side of the land. But leave some space because there's something really special that we're going to draw there soon. The next things God created were lights in the sky. He made the sun to shine during the day and the moon and the stars to give light in the night. Everyone add a bright sun to your sky at the top of your plate or piece of paper. Your pictures of creation are looking so great with kids, but God wasn't done yet, so neither are we. Next, God created the fish in the seas and the birds in the sky. So go ahead and add some fish in your ocean and some birds flying around your clouds. You can also draw some animals on your land because that's the next thing God created. But leave room on your land for the most special piece of God's creation. The last creation God made was so special. He created us. So God started with one man and one woman and he told them to take care of every living thing. So in the middle of the land, on your plate or piece of paper, draw a person. It could be you, it could be your mom, your dad or anyone you'd like. Your pictures are so beautiful, just like God's creation. When you see what you created today, you can remember that God created everything. He is in total control and he is Lord over all. Bye Wiz Kids! So has anyone figured out what souvenir we're trying to find? Here are the hints again. Oh yeah, you found it. Oh yeah, you found it.
found it. You found the rain stick. Way to go. Oh, listen to that. Music to my ears. I mean, nothing really says I took a trip to the rainforest like a rain stick. Better souvenir than a tree shirt. Am I right? Tree shirt? You know, just the idea of thousands of drops of water just randomly falling from the sky makes me ask the question, who's in charge of all this? The rain, the trees, the sky? When you really start to think about all the awesome things in this great big world, there has to be someone behind it all. Well, spoiler alert, there is. <laughs> yep, real talk, and I'm about to name drop right here. You ready for this? God, the main man with the mana, the OG of the OT, the creator of creation. And as you get to know more, you find out there are so many names for him in the Bible. But you know, what really is in a name? Well, pretty much everything, because everybody's name helps us know more about them, including who God is. One of the names of God is Lord. Yeah, Lord. Take that in for a minute. That means he is all powerful and in control of everything in this world, including each of us. Talk about being large and in charge. <laughs> we know God is in control because he made it all, just by speaking it into existence. But back then, there were no shopping centers to buy glue sticks or pipe cleaners or glitter. Nope. God made everything on his own and he did it without any supplies. Zero, zilch, nada. That's right. There was no universe, no sun or moon before time began. There was just big, empty space. Hello? Anybody out there? But God didn't want to just leave it like this, so he got to work. God said, let there be light. And as soon as he did, light appeared, separating the day from the night. You'd think that this would be his brightest idea, but God was just getting warmed up. Now it was time for the good stuff. God then made the sky in all the colors we see. Well, even chartreuse. The land and ocean came next. We've got mountains, streams, islands, and the, the rainforest. God didn't stop there though. No way, Jose. Next came all sorts of different plants like banana trees and orchids, and then animals like the great white shark and the monkey. <laughs> Haven't you always wanted a monkey? It's a monkey. And for the grand finale, um, drum roll please. Created in God's own image, God created us, humans. God started with one man named Adam, and then he created a woman named Eve. Then. He told them to take care of every living thing. It was a pretty busy week for God, but when he had finished creating everything, he thought it was all good. And so he rested. <gasps> huh, I guess I would have done the same thing. I wanted you to locate the rain stick as a reminder that God created everything, that he is in total control and is Lord over all, because God is my Lord. Well, that's all we have for you here in Brazil. But don't you worry, we aren't resting from no question anytime soon. So I'll see you all next time. Hello, Whiskits. Hope you have an amazing day. So today I am going to pray with you. Is that okay? Awesome. So I'd like you to fold your hands and close your eyes as we go to the Lord in prayer. Okay, with kids? Awesome. Here we go. Repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, creator of all things, we know that you are God and you are our Lord. We ask you to be with us today. Cover us with your blessing and protect us and bless mommy and bless daddy 
and bless our church. In Jesus' name, amen. Amazing. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Hope you guys have enjoyed this adventurous episode. Don't forget to have a go at the activities in your activity packs. Stay tuned. And we'll see you on, on the go. go.